Beyond infinity and back again. I'm to them. Young dog and I talking. Okay, so we are in the Isuzu D-Max. So first impression. The leathers are actually quite, you know, premium. Even the side trims are quite nice. And we have Adit here as my assistant for videos or photos. So thumbs up to that. <laughs> so okay. First thing to talk about is um, the D-Max that I'm in is actually the orange color. And there are a lot of uh, controls on the steering wheel as well and along with the big, big screen so what we know about this car is it is a twin cab pickup truck but it looks stunning from the outside like I would say okay so we'll be heading out for the road driving experience first then only we'll be heading for the track ride the drive side I would say like testing out the uh, ADS functions the lane departure systems all those kind of fancy fancy safety equipment and yeah let's go and try it out and the driving instructor said to trust the car we'll see that later here we go okay, let's go uh, the D-Max is mainly focusing on uh, safety so it has equipped with most of the safety equipment like ADS, uh, traction control, ledger I think braking system, all those kind of fancy uh, you know, safety features on, on the car itself. So yeah, I mean this is actually a good thing for 4x4 because uh, many people out there tend to you know crash on 4x4. So um, yeah, I mean it's quite easy to handle for a 4x4 and this kind of uh, turn. So it's like a 360 degree turn. Smooth, controllable, nice. Uh, okay, so now we try out the pickup for the truck. Maybe it's because uh, it knows that I'm trying to go aggressive. So the torque figures has been actually reduced down by the ECU. So I would say that this is also part of the safety features of the car because they don't want you to go crazy on the 4x4 you might lose control when you have maximum power for a, from a 3 liter engine diesel you know supercharged um, it has about a 450 torques newton meters of torques which is insane amount of torque if you're talking about like um, you know normal normal cars and but the horsepower wise for this car I would say that it's not really a fantastic amount but it's really sufficient for you know like you're traveling to highways and stuff like that okay so i'm cruising at about 70 kilometers an hour the rpm now is only at 1400 which is i would say very low i think that this car will actually have good amount of range for a few times this is also quite a bumpy road uh, but you will notice that with the new leaf spring design the it's quite comfortable, it's no longer like those old pickup trucks that we remember in those days, uh, very bumpy and uh, this is very suitable for families to use, even sitting at the back seat you will find that it's quite comfortable. So, uh, this D-Max is giving out some very comfortable feeling along with more positive and subtle feedback from the road. So, for for your lane departure warning, if you cross this white line here without using your turn signal, you will find that the it will beep. So and it also tells you where you have uh, left your lane. So it's very handy when, let's say, you are distracted by your handphone or you are feeling drowsy after a very heavy lunch at the Hilton. Uh, this is very handy for you to just keep you in your lane. Trust <laughs> 
So I'm on auto cruise mode now and the car in front is slowing down. I'm not touching the pedals, no the steering wheel. It's controlling the speed automatically based on the uh, system or and if the car goes fast, this D-Max will also keep up in speed and based on the speed that you set on this cruise control. Man. man, this is a crazy experience I'll tell you. The first time tr and, uh, trying out this uh, cruise control with this kind of adaptive speed cruise, oh, I don't think I have that kind of confidence on, on myself itself. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Hong, can you help me turn on your hazard light? Uh, it's on top of the dashboard, right on the center there. Just press the hazard light for me. Done. Good. Now, after this junction, I'm going to come to a stop. This is the only car in this class that can stop and go for two seconds. So basically, if let's say there's traffic jam, uh, well, not exactly traffic jam, but if the, the traffic comes to a short stop, we can also stop and go. So, as long as within 2 seconds, we can stop and go. Don't touch the brake, don't touch the accelerator, okay? Okay, trust the car, okay? <laughs> they say trust the car. So, we just trust the car. <laughs> Notice that my legs are up, just to demonstrate this safety feature of the car. So, let's wait for the uh, marshal to do a stop. For a safe spot to do so. We will let the car cross us first, then I will slow down. Is he gonna cross? Mm. Yeah, we don't take my food. This Malaysian thing. Legs up. Legs up, legs up. Don't touch your brakes. Don't Holy touch your shit, brakes. man. <laughs> legs still up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh man, it, it works man. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, I can tell okay, you. Okay, so that is uh, adaptive cruise control. Did you experience it nice? Very nice. It's quite horrorous for the first time. It's a very unique uh, feeling. Okay, now I can chase because it's already set to 65 okay so for just now the feature you can set the speed limit so it's very useful for avoiding a 300 ringgit tick, uh, photo sent to you online or even in the mail so if you know that that area has AES or even some you know police hiding in the bushes this feature is the one for you I can tell you this is a lifesaver feature it's a nice car to drive I would say First time driving the Isuzu e D-Max. Not even the first gen, not even the second gen, straight to the third gen. So I would say that I'm quite impressed with the car's safety features for the Okay, so you see that now there's uh, new features of the D-Max. You have the 360 degree camera, so you can see everywhere, and even cars on the side, you can also have a have a like a digital imagery of it. So I would say that it's a new feature on you know, 4x4s which are full of blind spots that you can't really see much on the car so it is a good feature it it has been a standard feature in like a Toyota Vios or whatever uh, it is good to see this kind of features in a 4x4 because tend to have a lot of uh, blind spot by like hitting something like a pole so this is a good feature to have in all trucks this should be standardized I would say Okay, so you can toggle around with this screen and check out, you know, the 360 cameras. So the one on our right is a uh, orange uh, D Max, and the one on the left is uh, a white one. So yeah, it is accurate, I would say. See the one on the right, the uh, orange one. Then you can toggle around and see what's happening. Oh, this one you can. Oh. So this one you can see. Zoom in, zoom out, and then this is the back. This is the back as well. Nice spot part. Then you can play around with it. Check out. And this is left right. Oh, okay. So you can see what's on your left and what's on your right. So the center part is actually uh, cancelled off. Okay, so this is basically deleting the whole car and summarizing the, the views of the left and the right of your car. So, which is uh, uh, it's a nice feature to have. <laughs> <laughs>
because if you don't want to to like you know put yourself into things that you wouldn't want like avoiding any port or holes that you do not want to damage your car yeah that's a good feature to have so if i have this this pickup truck the thing i'll do is i'll put my bike on the back man and i'll go to sepang as i see and go for my track days So the interior on the back is actually quite, you know, it's full of leather. It's a very comfortable car. You have this uh, center console with two cup holders. Center backrest, adjustable. And also a USB port for you to charge your devices. And there's a back hook. Door trims are nice. Solid, uh, solid closing sound. Even everything here so is very solid. Opening the car is also, yeah, nicely built car. Solid feel, and there's even this uh, this handle for you to come up and come down. So we have the basic stuff in the car. A place for you to place something here. Sunglasses uh, compartment. The stereo camera is actually built in here, so you only can see from the front. Nicely done uh, gear knobs and even has a wireless charger, guys, wireless charger. So you don't need to, you know, uh, rely on cables, just put your phone here and drive. There's also a secret light, a secret port where you can put your uh, chargers or whatever. Then you have this knob to actually change from two wheel drive and two-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive loop for off-roads. Right, engage reverse gear now. Mm. Alright, as traffic approaching, is there any visual sign given? Right, so on your meter buster and the flashing amber on the side mirror, yeah? On the center monitor for the 360 camera, basically it's additional eye for you. Okay, it's a new feature. So it's good. So it has double up to really confirm the behind area is it's empty and good to go out. Alright, All right. what I want you to do is I want you to press the power and then as you can see. Right? The 
detect something. So, they cut the power. Alright? Because of you, a good driver, you not hit the obstacle in front of you. Even though, if you not enough time to brake, you will hit with a less impact, less damage on your car or so, anything in front of you. Lah. Alright? So, win-win situation. Alright? That's it. Sama je macam tadi Kita buat benda sama I'm coming for you King of Baby Red carpet, you just follow me in lights, lah. Okay? So you activate. Tap once, lah. Oh. So you can try. So I can try. Yeah, just move. Yeah. So with the sound, it's activated. Yeah, close the door. Close the door. Yeah, right. So I can show you red carpet, lah. Follow me in lights. Okay? Ah.
Two seconds and release. You will see. Come on. Okay. Now put the brake. Okay, pull the brake. Put your gear in D and release the brake. People always say this car is only meant for men. But if you buy this car for your friend or for your Sisters, okay. They also can try this. If they have this problem, they don't need to call you anymore. They just like them. You do this. That's all. So I've just finished the uh, test ride with the D-Max. One hell of a car, though. This uh, pickup truck is full with uh, safety features and a 360 camera for your convenience. And also, if you are always going off road you are going to do like you know muddy trails or something like that so if you are stuck there's a diff lock function to ensure that you are getting out of the uh you know sticky situation so it is a very good feature to have because um you will not need someone else to tow you out so it's a very superb feature that to to, to have in this So, with premium uh, interiors, that looks dang awesome, I would tell you. And also, sporty headlights. Even the design is, uh, you know, very um, futuristic look with the fangs around. So, the uh, twin cab is uh, quite a good car. And then, even, even though if I want to open the, 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 the cab behind, it doesn't fall off just like that. So, you will not have any issues with your fingers or anything and I think it could fit at least two bikes on the back so to lift it up it's actually easy eh? two fingers yeah just as easy as that three liter turbo one hell of car so yeah and look at that the DRLs, amazing. The black is nice and the orange is nice. 